Here I have a couple of lenses from a pair of 3D glasses. Hold in one direction, it changes the colour of the light. Flip it over, get the angle right, and it blocks the light. However, if you have one blocking, the other can clear the path for the light to pass through. And then, if you pass a piece of plastic behind it, the stress pattern is sharp as vivid bright colours. So these lenses are taken from 3D glasses. These 3D glasses to be more specific. And they are the Real-D 3D glasses, which are one of the leading brands of 3D cinema. To explain the science between all those weird demonstrations, we have to find out first what exactly this little piece of plastic is. And it turns out that in fact, it is two pieces of plastic. There is the main lens piece, and on one side, a thin sheet that covers it. The glasses are worn so that the thin cover is on the outside, closest to the screen. The thicker bit of plastic is what's called a linear polarizer, and the thin sheet is what's known as a quarter wave plate. Now, to explain what these mean and what they do, we're going to have to talk about the polarization of light. Light is an electromagnetic radiation made up of an electric field and a magnetic field. However, for polarization, we only talk about the electric field as that's what interacts with the eyes to give us vision. Now, if you think of each photon as a little chunk of light wave that vibrates in one direction, most light is made up of a series of photons which have a random direction they each oscillate in, and this is known as unpolarized light. However, if you do get light where nearly all the photons oscillate in the same direction, this is known as polarized light. There are two types of polarized light. Linearly polarized light is where all the photons oscillate in exactly the same direction. And circular or elliptical polarization is where there is a constant rotation. Now, back to the lenses. A linear polarizer polarizes light by only allowing light which oscillates in a certain direction to pass through, and other light is blocked. Most flat screens produce light that is linearly polarized at a 45 degree angle. So when you hold up the linear polarizer of the lens at right angles to this, none of the light can pass through and it appears black. The quarter wave plate is a birefringent material, and this means that light travels slower along one axis than the other two. This means if you put light through at an angle to two of these different axes, it splits into two beams at right angles which travel at different speeds. But when they leave the material, the two waves combine and interfere into a new type of wave. The quarter wave plate sets up these two waves so that they exit a quarter wavelength apart in phase. And the practical effect of this is it turns linear light into circular light and circular light into linear light when you pass through light at 45 degrees. How does 3D cinema work? Now you need two images, one for each eye, in order to trick the brain into using depth perception. But we only have one screen to show these on, so we use a projector which quickly switches between a left eye view and a right eye view. The projector has a polarizing filter which makes sure all the images are circularly polarized, and a computer makes sure all the left eye images are polarized in one direction and all the right eye images are polarized in the other. 3D cinemas use a silver screen for two reasons. One, because metals keep the polarization of light, and two, a silvered screen reflects a lot of the light which is important because a polarizer removes some of the light. Circularly polarized light can travel through a linear polarizer in any orientation, so we need to convert this circularly polarized light into linear light at the eyes. This is where the quarter wave plates are used to turn this circularly polarized light into linear polarized light, and they are set up so they each convert each direction of the polarized light into a different angle of linear light. So, combined with the linear polarizer, each lens only lets one direction of circularly polarized light through to the eye. And this is the way we get a different view for each eye, and allows a depth perception to take place. So 3D cinema is great, and many people enjoy it. But what else can we use polarization for? Polarizing lens make a common feature in photography, and they can be used for various effects, such as eliminating reflections from glass and water, darkening the sky, and bringing out the colour in trees and plants. In photography, the polarising filters are generally a similar setup to the 3D glasses by using circular polarisers. And the reason they do this is because most modern cameras use linearly polarised light in order to use the autofocus and light adjustments. And if you put a linear filter in front of a camera, 
the camera is no longer able to do these functions. And another use, which I will show you in a second, is using it to find the stress levels in transparent materials. We begin by taking one of the lenses and placing it over the camera as a filter. Then, when we place a clear object in front of the polarised light source, wondrous amounts of colours appear. Plastics are made up of long chain-like molecules, and when they are formed or stressed, these molecules tend to line up together. And this lining up of molecules causes a bidiffringence in the material. The amount by which the bidiffringence effect slows down or rotates light is dependent upon the wavelength of the light that's passing through it. White light is made up of all the different wavelengths. All the different wavelengths present interact in different ways as they pass through the material. So at certain polarizations, and dependent upon the stress levels in the object, only certain colors actually make it through. And if you change the amount of stress applied at a certain area, you'll also change the colors which you can see at a certain polarization.